Hey y'all, it's Deb, authors of Memoirs of a Theater Kid, and Gavin. So, I have some very exciting news. I am finally taking my country trip up north to Minnesota that I was supposed to take in 2019, then the tornado happened. I was supposed to take earlier this year, then COVID happened. So, but now I am finally going to Minnesota. But not just Minnesota. I have a lot in stock for this trip. On my way up, I'm going to pass through Iowa. And there's a lot of the theatery related destinations, very theater geekery related destinations I'm stopping at on my way. So I'm going to be hitting up the Rosemans Bridge in Winterset, Iowa. If you know the musical Bridges of Madison County, that's a big landmark in that musical. And it's also where they filmed this movie with Meryl Streep and... Clint Eastwood, I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> so if you know the musical or the movie, the book, you'll know that. And of course, I, earlier I went on the epic journey to get into play Blanche Barrow. I'm also going to be hitting some Bonnie and Clyde related sites in Iowa, including the site of a bank the Barrow gang robbed, the arrest site of Blanche and Buck, and what is now, a, I believe, a school, but the former hospital where, where Buck died. I'm going to be hitting up all of those places on my way up. Then... In Iowa, then in Minnesota, I'm going to be visiting my aunt, who's staying with my aunt and uncle, and I'll be visiting my grandma, who I've not seen not seen any of my northern family in about five years, so it's long overdue for that. I'm going to be visiting my friend Trevor, who if you saw Don't Call Me Debbie, he did the posters and the programs and the headshots for Don't Call Me Debbie, so I haven't seen him since I, since... At least I have not seen him since he's graduated, graduated from jury where we both went to school. So that'll be a fair, fun reunion. I might hit up, there's a zoo up close where my aunt is that has moose. I might hit up the zoo, you, there's, you have to make reservations in advance, but there's definitely a zoo and they definitely have moose. And it's on my bucket list to see a moose in person. I know that sounds really weird, but I just think they're really cool animals. Sorry, that was a tangent. Sorry, I got distracted. Gavin was playing with something, and at first I was panicking, but it's just an old cop drop. It's fine. <laughs> yep, that was the cat. <laughs> yeah, he'll be staying in a kennel while I'm away, so he's gonna be, he'll be taken care of. Yeah, but the Grand Fromage is going in a couple weeks, and the Grand Fromage is that I will be going up north to Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Not Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Which is the birth the birthplace of Judy Garland. Mm hmm And of course, Judy, if you know me at all, you know Judy Garland and the Wizard of Oz are a huge inspiration to me. They're the reason I started doing theater. And so her house is there in Grand Rapids. There are some other spots in the town related to the, to her family, the Gum family. I hit up her. I real name was her birth name was Gum, before she changed it to Garland on stage. Judy Garland. And where her house is there, and attached to it, it is a Wizard of Oz museum with a lot of fun memorabilia, including the carriage that Dorothy and gang rode in through the Emerald City. And I'm going to be vlogging the whole way, vlogging the whole journey. Hashtag Judy Journey. I cannot wait for this to happen. I'm so, This is so long overdue. And I'm freaking out, y'all. So I hope you'll join me on my, jur on my journey, be vlogging and uh, all the good stuff from Memoirs of a Theater Kid. But until then, peace out, Girl Scouts. Stay classy.